back to my YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so for this week's video, I am going to be staying overnight in the world's most dangerous bed. And the reason why it's the world's most dangerous bed is because it's 60 feet up in the air, and we're going up. Oh my god, you guys. This is amazing. This feels like I'm stuck at the top of the Ferris wheel. This is my bed for the night. These are just a bunch of rooftops. I'm literally going to be sleeping underneath the stars tonight. Oh. Actually, no, I'm pretty much sleeping with the stars tonight because that's how high up I am. This is really, really terrifying and I'm gonna sit down now because this is freaking me out. Don't film her without her wig on. All right, so this is Lexi Jr. And to show you guys just how high up this bed is, this is what would happen if I were to fall. All right, I, I'm gonna put on my harness. This just got real. Please guys, give this video a big thumbs up because I don't wanna end up like that watermelon. <laughs> You guys, I honestly didn't realize how scary this was going to be. Like, I'm really high up. Lexi, why are you still in bed at 3 p.m.? I'm 65 feet in the air and that's what you're worried about? You guys, my mom's crazy. Oh my God. How long are you gonna be up there? Overnight. Yeah. All right, Lexi, well, I have a little challenge to change the height. It could get better or it could get worse. How can it get any worse than this? I have a basketball and I also have a basketball hoop. I'm gonna give you three shots. If you make any of them, I'm gonna lower you 10 feet. But if you don't make any of them, I'm gonna raise you up 10 feet. So uh, good luck. This thing doesn't go any higher. Oh, trust me, it does. <laughs> no, you guys, this is so scary. All right, first shot. All right, here we go. Two, one. Yo. All right, second shot. Go. I literally thought that went in. Can you just lower me? Like, it's too scary up here. No, I'm not gonna lower you. Also, Lexi, I forgot to tell you, uh, these things tend to fall over sometimes when they're at that kind of height, so uh, don't make any sudden movements. Oh my god! You guys, I'm getting really sick and tired of bed. Final shot, if you miss, going up there. So, uh, better make it. <laughs> All right, final shot. I have a good feeling about this one. Oh my god! You guys, I just hit Ben in the head. Can you still lower me 10 feet? Please? Well, at least I'm not going any higher. Hey, Ben, before you go, do you think you can bring me some food? Uh, do I have to? I mean, yeah. All right, you know what? I got you. I'll get something for you. Okay, I'll send down my bucket. All right, here comes the bucket. I know it's pretty hot up there. You know, it's probably really scary. You know, it hasn't been a lot of fun for you, so I got some pizza to hopefully make it better. Pull it up, and please don't drop it again. Thank you, Ben. Oh my God, you guys, Ben got me pizza. Pizza! Are you kidding me? Ben! Oh, it's so disgusting. I can't even like. Oh my God. He left me just the crust and it's filled with ants. I don't want this. Why? You're so ungrateful. I got you pizza. Oh my God. There are ants all over my bed now. Just go. Now I don't feel bad about hitting you in the head. That's why I gave you half eaten pizza. Because you hit me in the head. All right. So Brent's going to come over and we're going to see what he thinks about my new room. My new bed. I'm up here. What are you doing up there? This is my new room. Brent, I have to stay in this bed overnight. Why? Because it's the world's tallest bed. I swear, some of the things she does is just like so pointless. It's like, what? I have Lexi's favorite candy, and so I'm gonna see if I can make her lose her own challenge. Got a lounge chair, some of Lexi's favorite candies, and a megaphone. You guys, Brent just pulled up with a lawn chair and my favorite candy. Lexi, I have your favorite candy. What do you want me to do about that? Well, I'm gonna eat it all if you don't come down here. You're trying to get me to lose at my own challenge. This is like the meanest thing anyone's ever done to me. If you come down now, you're gonna have some of the candy and a little bit of my spray. Brent, it doesn't matter what you do, I'm not budging. I'm comfortable up here. Are you sure? I'm good. I'm positive. You guys, I don't know what Brent's trying to do, but it's not working. I'm determined to complete this challenge. Welcome aboard, flight 1956 United. Uh... Am I at the airport now, or what's going on? I'm like the same level as the plane, so I guess this makes sense. Uh, we're gonna be on our way shortly, uh, and uh, just make sure your seatbelts are securely fast. He's still working at about uh, 34,000 feet up there. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, uh, he's purposely trying to be annoying so that I get off this thing. And it's not gonna work. There are eight exits on this aircraft, two located in the front and rear of the aircraft, and four over the wing exits. When did he have the time to learn what the Delta Airlines say? You guys, I'm on a bed 65 feet in the air, which is bad enough, and now Brent is singing. Lexi, please come to the principal's office. Lexi, please come to the principal's office. Thank you. Oh my god. Why did I invite him here? 
I should have never had him even come here. You know, I don't know why I'm trying to make her lose in her own challenge because staying up there all night is bad enough. My work here is done. I'll see you later, Lexi. All right, I'm getting pretty bored up here and I'm trying not to look down, so we're gonna distract myself by making a drone montage. So I hope you enjoy this because this is gonna be really embarrassing for me. to think about what happens if I were to roll off the bed. And uh, you know what happened? Well, I wouldn't be here to tell you what happened. <laughs> so <laughs> once you get over how scary this is, it's actually pretty relaxing. Like I'm just hanging out on my bed. Definitely not almost a thousand feet in the air. Definitely not. Not doing that. No. What the hell is that? What is going on? What the hell are you doing up there? Wait, so what, am I coming up there with you? You can come up here, but you have to bring me French fries? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you didn't know I could teleport? <laughs> Did you actually bring me for a drive? Yeah, the back's a little wrinkly, but I ate a few. <laughs> you guys, Andrew's shaking the entire scissor lift. Andrew, I thought you were scared of heights. I'm not. Do you want to look down? No. Come on, let's look down. No, I'm good. Just let's look see. down for the railing. Stop! Andrew, don't do that. Actually, don't Ready? do that. No, get off. <laughs> Andrew, you came at the perfect timing because we have a lovely sunset right in front oh, of back. us. There's one upside to doing this challenge and it's being so high up that you get the perfect view of the sunset. All right, so Andrew, what should we do? Should we play a game? Yeah, I'm actually down. Okay. Oh, I had one in mind, actually. Did you? How about you play uh, <laughs> The Last Fall Off The Bed? Ready? How about... You guys, Andrew's been trying to get me to like look at the stars for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> like the most overcast <laughs> night I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, if it started raining. Imagine. Oh shoot, Yo. I didn't even think about that. It actually kind of looks like it's about to, huh? What should we do? I don't know, I wasn't planning on you being up here with me. This is too what sketchy. If, Andrew, you have to go down, actually. Well, it's sketchy enough for like one person to sleep up here, like me. So I don't think you can join. Oh, there's plenty of room, come on. Oh, is there? There is. All right, well, I'm gonna get settled in. I'm settled in, getting a little bit nervous to go to sleep, only be... Andrew, Why? what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you getting nervous? Maybe because you're here and I'm literally scared of you. I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> I'm not kidding, you guys. This isn't fun for me at all. Lexi, you think I want to be up here? I need to take a sh <gasps> Andrew, you, what do you mean you think I want to be up here? I didn't ask you to like, come up I here. I really need to like take a dump because I need a I need a fart actually like actually. I think I'm gonna get I off. I think I'm gonna get off. Are you being serious? Hey guys, I'm ready to be done. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Can you let me down? Overreact. You're over. I'm overreacting. You farted in my face and you've been shaking no, the didn't. tower. And what? This is it for me. I'm leaving. No, you're not. I am. Andrew, you made this so miserable for me. You thought you were staying overnight. I thought I was too until you showed up and ruined it for you me. You just lost your own challenge. Yeah, I did lose my own challenge, but maybe you can finish it for me, Andrew. No! Why would I want to? Stop! Lexi! <laughs> Let's stop! What? I still need to take a dump. All right, here's some toilet paper. Bro, what the hell? Good luck, Andrew! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so for this week's video, I built one of the world's most dangerous escape rooms and I am going to be trapping the boys inside. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! All right, so I am here with the boys. Yeah! And I built a very dangerous escape room and it's actually right behind us. Oh, right here. <laughs> so basically, if you guys can complete this escape room in under 30 minutes, you will win $10,000. But there is a twist at the end, so stay tuned for that. Oh, no. What? Yeah. What's the twist? I'm not, not, not going to tell you. What? So, are you guys ready? Yes. One well, of you gets a walkie-talkie, I'll be talking you guys through it. Me, so. I'm the most responsible out of these two idiots. Really? Right. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, <laughs> you would lose it. All right, all I have to say is good luck, and your time starts now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Holy crap. So the only way to get to the second room is to break down the wall that's in the first room. So we're gonna see if they figure this out. Wait, Lexi, what are we supposed to do in here? Figure it out. <gasps> oh, they definitely figured it out. Let's go, go. go. Oh my God. Oh man, harder. I'm gonna let you be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, let me get whoa. a few hits. Let me get a few hits. Hey, let me get a few hits. Hey, hey let us release our anger too, bro. Wow. You are definitely hitting the wall, but you're hitting the wrong wall. What? The wrong wall? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You suck. Right. Yo, Lexi, do you hear me? Yeah, copy that, Andrew. I can hear you. All right, shut your mouth and get us out of here. I hope that one of the saws in there um, pokes your eye out. You know what? Oh my god. 
You're hitting the two by four button. They're almost to the second room. Um, I'm surprised that they figured this out, to be honest. Third days, bro. Third Hurry up, bro. We can, we can go through it. We're good. This won't live. Okay, bro, we're good. Go through. Let's go. Go through, go through, go through. Woo! Whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, let's go. Move. Out of my way. I'm are we allowed to bring these to the next room? Okay, they have officially made it through the first room and they're entering the second room, but I think the second room is really gonna confuse them. What the heck is this? Holy crap. Yo, wait. Yo, the door's locked. Okay. Uh, and they're definitely confused. <laughs> Lexi, what is going on in here? Lexi, what is this? Okay, boys, congrats. You've made it to the second room. Now, the goal is to crack the code, but be careful not to crack under the pressure. <laughs> the hell does that mean? Yo, explain a little more, please. Yeah. How are we supposed to know which one's the code? There's like thousands Wait, of numbers. What, what if it's her birthday? Hello? All right, you know what? I give up. Honestly, boys? I feel like one of these numbers is the code. I feel like it has to mean something though. Like maybe like her birthday or like... Mm -hmm. How about, wait, before we get all crazy, let's try a random one. 1858. Let me try that. I mean, but like, what are the what? chances That's that that one works? Bro, okay, you just never know. 1858, 1858. No. Hey, imagine it was first try though. Come on. All right, that'd be cool. Okay, you guys, the code to the lock is on the wall. So just try it. <laughs> Everything and anything. Oh, it's on the wall. What? Oh, wait, six, 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 six. Hey, she said don't crack under pressure. Hey, what does that, what does that mean? Dude, there's so many numbers. We're not gonna try all of them. We'll be here all day. 2001, her birthday year is not on the wall, so that's a scratch. Dude. Uh, bro, there's so many. Bro, what are we supposed to do? All right, I'm trying this one. Dude, there's so many numbers. We're not gonna try all of them. Uh, We're literally here all day if we try Dude, this. Uh, this one doesn't work. Give us a hint. Okay, I'm going to drop something in. Um, Give me a second. Little do they know that this is not going to help them at all. All right, they are about to get a math problem as their clue. So I think they're doomed. Give me that. Oh, no, no. Hey, I'm good at math. I'm good at math. I'm good at math. Wait, Wait. We're not letting Andrew do it. No, hey, I swear. Yeah, let me do it. All right, boys, you were just given a math problem. So the answer to this math equation is actually the code that will unlock the lock. But Jeremy has to solve it. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What? Look, Jeremy has to solve it? Oh, then we're screwed. Get your calculator out, bro. We're not, we're not messing around here. You can't use a calculator. Well, sorry. I don't care. I don't care. We want that money. You guys, they are going to be in there all day. All right, Jay's going to help us out with the third room. I told you. Hey, if Jeremy's going to solve it, we're screwed. I got it. I got it. Three, three, nine, one. Oh, let's just do it. That so problem was, it literally took us two seconds. Yes. We yes. We got it. We got it. Yes. Oh. 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 Hey, oh. 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 No. What the hell? Okay, good work, boys. Now, if you can make it through this next room, you'll make history. Yo, that's not funny. Shut up. We're dealing yeah. with real snakes here, all right? No more your freaking jokes. Yeah, I think you looked up all these jokes on Google. Okay, wait, boys. One of the snakes in the pool does not belong. Find it, and you can move along. Yeah, we have to find the snake, but we still gotta reach our hand into there. I clearly see the fake snake. I'm not putting my hand in there. Jeremy is. Oh, no, 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 no. I solved the math problem. Now, one of you guys have to okay. go in there and Andrew, do that. Andrew, come here. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, shoot. Hurry up. Yeah. No! Go in there. Okay, I gotta grab the fake snake. Hey, it matches you too. Oh, chill. Go, we have to grab that. Oh, stop. Go, go, go. We have I think they're oh, really, oh, really struggling. Grab it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Do you guys have the fake snake? No. Wait, well, I, I, I threw it. I threw it. Um, you guys, I you need to have the fake snake for me to open the next door. Why did I throw it, bro? Ben threw the fake snake. <sighs> Bro, make it over. Oh, 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 stop, Jay! Stop! Oh, stop! Stop! Oh! Oh! All right, I got the snake. I got the snake. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Open the door. Open Just the door. to be clear, you have the snake in hand. I have the snake. Yes, I have it. Hurry up! It up. Okay, you guys. Wow. Wow. The boys love to come through. I'm the first one that made it in. Let's go. All right, so you guys have made it to the very last room. Yeah! But here is where there's a little twist, okay? Oh, no. So basically, there's only going to be one winner of the $10,000. What? Tell us that. And that person is going to be whoever can hang on this bar the longest. And uh, be careful because there's mouse traps under you guys. No. Hey, but uh, we can have our shoes on, right? No, you have to take your shoes off. Oh, my oh, God. What? All right, boys, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Not really, I'm not excited for this. But. So you guys have to hold your legs up in like a in like a tight position too, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Why you have to do this too with us then? Why would I have to do this? I'm giving you guys money to do this. I think you just want to see our strong muscles in action while doing this. <laughs> I swear to god. Alright, let's do that. Alright, ready, set, hang. Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. 
crap, man. All right. This hurts. Ah! Wow. Ah! Oh, okay. My God! Oh no! It's Dude, spinning too. I'm too tall for this. Ah! Come on! This hurts so bad. Holy crap! I don't want to drop. I don't want to drop. I might have to. Ben's ah. swimming. Ben's swimming. Ow! Oh. Boys, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't oh, drop. Man. Ah! Oh, man. All right. It is between Jeremy and Andrew. Who is going to win the ten thousand dollars? You guys made it all this way. There's only one. Ah! Oh! Ow! Ow! You're the winner. You can get down. He oh saved. my god. Yeah! Okay, and the winner is Andrew. Oh, wow. <laughs> The pain my toes are feeling right now was not worth it. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, okay, okay. Yo. Now it's showing up. And me and Ben put in all that work and we get nothing. Yeah, Jeremy solved the math problem. I that thought was it was a group difficult. effort, dude. And then you hit us with the only one person's winning. Yeah. yeah. You guys did help, so. I, oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Hey, only a hundred. Whoa. Oh. Only a hundred dollars. Oh. 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 For this week's video, I bought 250 discontinued products from our childhood. Some of these products are dangerous, expired, and some are even 60 years old. So let's go give them a try. Starting with Crocodile Adventure. There was a version of it that came out in 1990 called Crocodile Dentist Adventure, but they discontinued it because too many kids were getting hurt. So this is a newer knockoff version of the game, and Brent and I are gonna play it right now. So you have to press in one tooth, and hopefully it's not the tooth that will trigger the thing to go and bite you. I'm gonna go first. Three, two. Ah. Ah. Scary it laughs thing. at you after he bites you. I hate that. It oh hurts. my god, I hate this game. The McDonald's Shake Maker. 1993, McDonald's made a lot of things like a burger, fry, and shake maker. But in my hands, I have the only working McDonald's ice cream machine in the world. Why is the ice cream machine always broken? It's always broken. So it comes with these little straws, lids, and cup. <gasps> That's Ooh. so cute. Literally all you need is instant pudding mix and milk. Okay, so I'm gonna add some milk. And done. I'm gonna add two spoons of vanilla pudding mix. And then we just mix. Okay, let's see if we have a shake. Whoa. Uh. <gasps> oh, no! All right, we have a little McDonald's shake. Cheers. Oh. Well, that didn't mix it very well. No, I don't know if this is the machine or operator error, but that was disgusting. That was not good. No wonder the ice cream machine is always broken. Yeah, I mean, look at ours. Moon shoes. So here they are. They were honestly a pain to build, but I'm pretty excited for these, because, you know, I'm pretty short. These might give me some extra height. We have them on. I'm not gonna lie. These are pretty awesome. All right, so apparently, get these off the ground, so we're gonna do a little jump. Oh, okay. Really windy today, and I'm a little worried the wind might knock me over. A Game Boy Color. This was discontinued in 2003, but they're still really popular because this was sold for over $200. The games themselves are even more expensive. So here we have a Bug's Life, so we're gonna put this in and see if it works. All right, let's see if it works. I cannot believe that I'm playing on a Game Boy right now. So these are Fruit Loop cereal straws. They were discontinued in 2009, but when they were discontinued, a lot of people were begging for them back. So the company brought them back in 2021. I'm gonna be keeping these in a safe place in case they decide to discontinue these again. Let's give them a try. Oh my God. Every one of these straws is not together. So should we try it with a drink? Fruit Loop cereal straw, let's do it. I'm scared. Whoa, this is life changing. And you guys, you can do this. Okay, it tastes good. I'm not a big cereal person, but you guys go get these before they discontinue them again. The Rock'em Sock'em. There are a lot of different versions of this game, but this is the original one from 1964. It requires two players, and I know exactly who I feel like fighting. Brent, are you ready? Yes. Okay, three, two, two one, one, fight! Move! Oh, you move. Uh, okay. Headshot. I'm clearly winning. Headshot. Oh! This game is stupid. No, it's not. Yeah, this should stay discontinued. So this is the clapper. It came out in the 1970s, and apparently it's a sound activated on and off switch for appliances. So I plugged it into my TV and the Nintendo, and we're gonna see if it turns on from me clapping. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, this definitely should have stayed in the 70s because it doesn't work, and we still have light switches. I like the concept. I thought I could trick it, you know? Maybe like it's not paying attention now. So this is Blue Pepsi. This is actually insane. It looks really good. It does look good, but apparently it was discontinued in 2002 because people didn't like it. We'll be the judge of that. Yes, we will. Let's crack it open. Smell this. It smells like a, like a closet. Kind of smells like soap. It does. It, right? It smells like dish soap. 
Oh my god, it tastes like dish soap. I can see why it was discontinued. This is a Fushigi. It came out in 2010, but it didn't last very long because the commercials were deceiving. So the point was for it to be an illusion and to make it look like the ball was floating, but clearly that's not what this is. Commercials made it seem a lot cooler. I am so excited for this. Every year for Christmas, I would ask my parents for an Easy Bake Oven and I never got one, but here I am, 22 years old, and I have an Easy Bake Oven and I bought it myself. Anyways, we're about to try to make something in this oven and hopefully we don't burn the house down. Wow, she's beautiful. Obviously this product is discontinued, which means we had to buy it from some random person on eBay. It didn't come with the entire kit, but we're gonna be making a s'more. All right, let's plug this bad boy in. <laughs> All right. Thank goodness this still works because otherwise we'd be making a very angry complaint to a sizzling seller on eBay. And I'm sure he wouldn't want that. Cause I would come in sizzling. All right, we have our uncooked s'more right here. Let's put it in the Easy Bake Oven. The s'more is in the oven. You can't really see what's going on in there. So I guess now we wait. Okay, it is ready. Let's see what we got. We got it. <gasps> it fully baked the s'more. Okay, here we go. Taste test. Oh my God. And your old me would have loved this. These are jars and they were discontinued in 1989 because they didn't want kids playing with sharp objects. It went so far to the point where it's actually illegal for the company to sell them. So why the heck would you buy them? Because Jeremy, we're adventurous. We're gonna open this up and see if it's actually as dangerous as they say it is. Goal of the game is to get these inside of the yellow circle. And I see why they were discontinued. Look at how sharp. These are. Wait, is it cool if I get some practice? Jeremy, don't even joke. I don't need to, joke. Hey, I need to warm up. Stop. Here, catch it, ready? So this is actually like really sharp just to touch. Yeah, very not safe. Two, one. Oh! Okay, first try. Three, two. Oh, oh wow. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh my God, this is so much pressure. Wow. Since you lost, we have to go on a date now. No, what? Here we have a Johnny Astro Explorer. I'm pretty excited about this one because it is, I think, one of the oldest products we have. So this toy is from the 1960s, making it over 60 years old. I'm really curious to see if this thing still holds up. You guys, I think I just got scammed. Apparently, I didn't read the listing correctly because the seller was only selling the box. I spent $40 on a box. I guess I'll never get to play with Johnny Astro. Well, obviously, these have been sitting around for a while because the box is disgusting. It's exploded. So these are Dunkaroos. They were discontinued in 2012 because the sugar content was too high. I so, feel like, as a kid, you want more sugar. Exactly, but I think that was the problem. That's the problem. They're gonna be running around everywhere. I'm not impressed at the moment. Oh my god. Frosting mm. looks like pudding that's been laying around for 40 years. <laughs> this was not what I was expecting. Let's try one. Okay, we're gonna just dip it in. I kind of like it. Me too. I kind of like it. If I was a kid, I would like eat this all by itself. I'm giving these a 10. No, it tastes like cookie dough. These are really good. I'm rating it a 10 too. Wow, oh, bring Dunkaroos back. Mm -hmm. We have Heelys here and they were discontinued in 2009 because too many kids were getting injured. And I can tell you that this is true because one of my brothers actually broke their arm because of Heelys. This is literally like going rollerblading. I'm a little nervous to try this. These are six and women's. I'm not fitting in those. This is all you. I think there's gonna be another person in the Rivera family that's gonna break their arm today. Don't say that. Oh, hey, you're the one who bought them and this is your video idea. Who needs a bike when you have wheels on your freaking shoe? Wow. <laughs> now we're gonna try going down the biggest hill in the neighborhood. No, we're definitely not doing that. I can see how Heelys could be pretty dangerous and I think we should stop while I'm still alive. No, let's go. All right, let's go again. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Hungry Hungry Hippos. This game was released in 1978, but this is the 1994 version which you cannot buy anymore. Why is this one so dirty? Well, because it's used and it was very hard to find. Dude, look at this. It's like gross stuff all over it. Yeah, definitely like little kids with sticky fingers are playing this. I do not want to touch this. Okay, the goal for this game is to get as many balls in your side as possible. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa! Wait, mine broke. Well, I just got a ton. <laughs> Look at how oh, many I have. Mine are broken. Definitely from 1994, because it is very broken. But I still won. But you cheated because it's slanted to the right because it's broken. A lot of the products that were even older than this one worked better, so let's move on to the next product. I'm terrified for this one. Here we have Frosted Krusty O's. The name itself is grossing me out. This cereal is from the Simpsons movie that came out in 2008. And to prove it to you, the expiration date on this cereal is June 1st of 2008. But yeah, this cereal is literally 15 years old, so we're gonna open it, see what's inside, and see if it's safe to eat. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it smells like if a vintage store like threw up. Okay, since I might die today, I'm gonna just do everything, you know, crazy. So we're gonna put the milk before the cereal. Let me know if anyone else does this. Oh my God, that smell. I think I might die if I try this. 
Since this is actually unsafe, I'm only gonna be trying one just for you guys. So here we go, 15 year old Crustios down the hatch. They're so stale. I can't. Oh God. Oh my God. Whoever kept these for 15 years definitely kept them in the bag for a reason. So this is the Uzinator. It's a pretty ugly squirt gun and it was actually discontinued because the slime that squirts out of it was hazardous to children. But luckily there's no children around, so we're gonna go for it. Three, two, one. Why in the world? The sound that it makes when it comes out. This is actually gross. This thing is disgusting. This isn't even fun, this is just gross. So before Netflix, this is how you would watch movies. This is a video now and it was discontinued in 2007. Basically you put a CD inside and you can watch all of your favorite movies on this little screen. Okay, we're gonna watch some Spongebob. Okay, ready? Press to start. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain! I have almost every season of Spongebob, so I'll be here all day. This is the Dairy Queen Blizzard Maker. It came out in 1985. No one knows why it was discontinued, but I think they should bring it back, because this seems like a pretty cool concept. Don't speak too soon, because this is what we're turning into a blizzard. It sounds like it's just like like sugar. Yeah, good point. Let's see if it works first. Yeah. Step one was to add ice, salt, and water. We just did that. All we have to do is add the dessert mix and three-fourths cup of half and half. Let's do it. Sounds easy enough. I don't even know how ice cream is made. Yeah, is this how they make it? Now we're gonna add some half and half. It really just feels like, oh, it's getting a little thicker. Is it dissolving? Now we have all the ingredients in our blizzard maker, but now all we have to do is mix. So we're gonna be mixing for 10 minutes, and then hopefully we have ourselves a nice little blizzard at the end. All right, we've been mixing this for about 10 minutes. I think we have ice cream. Please be a blizzard. Oh my God. Oh, there it goes. Right, we have our blizzards. We're gonna give them a try in three, two, one. Mmm, tastes good, good at the first. aftertaste. Yeah, good at the beginning because it's the yeah. consistency of a, of a blizzard. It's a little stringy, like it tastes like like saliva texture. Ugh. Thanks for coming to Dairy Queen. Here you go. Here's your blizzard. There you go. This is the Poochie Robot Dog. It was released in 2002, but also discontinued in 2002. So wait, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to just act like a dog. All right, let's crack it open and give it a try. So we have a real dog here, and we have the Poochie Dog, and it is barking. Let's see how a real dog and a robot dog interact. Look, is that your friend? Oh. No, hey, come back here. Hey, don't be antisocial. See, I don't really understand the point of this. Yeah, what is like, this what's even? What's fun about this? I think I'm gonna be sticking with real dog. I don't think real dogs like you though, Jeremy. Yeah, they do. This is the Fisher Price Giant TV Music Box. I have never even heard of this thing because it was discontinued in the 1960s. Oh my gosh. But you probably know about this because you're like a dinosaur. What does it do? I think it literally just plays music. It's like a little TV you're watching. Oh. Oh, whoa. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like this. And the song is getting a little annoying. How do you turn this thing off? Should we just get up and leave? Yeah, it's taking too long to end. All right, it's kind of annoying us, so we're just gonna go. All right, so these are Melody Pops. Before they were discontinued, they were actually called Whistle Pops, but they made a comeback in 2015, and Pierce and I are lucky enough to get to try these. It doesn't look like a whistle. It looks like it's gonna be like gum. I wonder if it's gonna be more like fun or more like tasty. Ooh, wait, that looks delicious. What the heck? How that was so cool! Like a real whistle. Oh my god, that was so good! Oh Shut my up. gosh! This is, why have I never heard of this? These should have never been discontinued. Wait. Not only are these cool because they're a whistle, but they taste really good. They do, they taste like what? Strawberry? Mm -hmm. Cotton candy? How old are these? From 2006. What's wrong? 2006? That's almost 20 years ago. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna get sick from this. This is a Sky Dancer. It was released in 1994, but discontinued in 2000 because over 100 people got injured. I'm not gonna lie, I did have this when I was a kid and I loved it. Why are we gonna try it again if we know that this is dangerous? Well, we just have to make sure. Supposedly you pull this and she spins and flies up. Three, two. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Oh. It's actually pretty fun, but I would not recommend buying this. Actually, you can't even buy it because it's discontinued. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to buy this anyways, guys. So these are clackers. They were discontinued in 1971, but we were able to get our hands on them. Brandon's going to show you why these are discontinued. Right, you just go like this, uh -huh. you go like that. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Ow, that hurt. Really dangerous. This is Surge. It's owned by Coca-Cola, and it was actually discontinued from schools in the early 2000s. And Coca-Cola ended up shutting down the brand completely because they were spreading rumors about other drink companies. The expiration date on this is 2002. Let's give this a try. Dude, this even feels like rusted. All right, bottoms up. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, the taste is like lingering in my mouth. It literally tastes like Sprite mixed with sewage. This is not good. So this one is actually insane. This is the old McDonald's Happy Meal bag from 1998, and it still has the toy that came with it. So this is a Tamagotchi, and they were discontinued in 2021, but this one is from 1998. I hope this one still works because it's been sitting around for 25 years. Okay, I don't think this is a real Tamagotchi, but it is a cool keychain. Might sell this on eBay. I found a few eBay listings where this goes for over $100, but I got this for $15. This is the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Factory. So this allows you to make Chuck E. Cheese pizza at home. It came out in 1999 and was discontinued for unknown reasons. So Paris and I have our uncooked pizzas right here and we're gonna place them into the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Maker and Ooh. we're gonna watch some magic happen. Look, and you can actually see it through this little, oh my God, it's so cute! Ah! There we go. Okay, okay, she is ready. <gasps> Stop, oh. you're joking. It's hot. What? I love this thing. And it actually comes with this own little like pizza knife. Italiano, buon appetito. Buon appetito. My pizzas are cutting this. It's a real it's pizza. It's already tiny, Pearson. Look it. Oh Stop. my God, and that's then... so cute. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that is so good. This is so good. I'm telling you, mm. they need to bring this back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start a petition. Mm -hmm. Me you too. Sign it. I'll be the first one. This is the infamous Cabbage Patch doll. So this was discontinued in 1997 because apparently it was eating people's fingers and hair. Okay, we're about to see if the reason for ban is accurate or not. I'm about to stick my finger in her mouth and see if she tries to chop it off. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Ow! Okay, that Cabbage Patch Kid needs to stay banned. Are you hungry? Yeah! Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Oh my god! I think she's choking! I think she's choking! Oh, she spit it out. So right here we have a sealed package of Sour Altoids and these expired in 2005. You were four years old when that expired. Yes, I was. Oh my God. And believe it or not, I bought these for a whopping $75. For Altoids? <laughs> and I actually got a good deal. I looked on eBay and people are selling them for $10,000. We should just sell these. What are we doing? Wait, you're right. Wait, we don't need to eat them. We'll sell them for 80 bucks, make a profit. Well, I already opened them, so we're gonna try them anyways. All right. <gasps> oh. There's it! <gasps> oh my god, I was not expecting that. No, I was so excited. Dude, people are spending $10,000 on these things. And they're probably coming like this. This is what it's supposed to look like. The form is like, it looks like candy. And this is what they look like 18 years later. Oh my gosh. Even just trying to eat this is a struggle. Here we go. Oh my god. It's sour. Mm -hmm. This might be our last day. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you too. This is a Nintendo 64. It was discontinued in 2002. A lot of them don't work anymore, but we were able to get our hands on one that does. We're gonna play Madden 2000. I don't like this game because uh, when I played this when I was little, my brothers would always beat me at it. Oh, well, now your sister's gonna beat you at it. Yeah, you're funny. Look at the graphics. It's so bad. What's happening? Ah! I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing random buttons. Okay, safe to say Nintendo 64 still works. I'm gonna leave Brent here so he can get a little better at I can't game. play by myself, Lexi. Like, well, you need some practice. <laughs> so these are magnetics, and they may look like a safe and creative thing to play with your friends, but they were recalled in 2006 for safety reasons and a choking hazard. So let's hope we don't choke on these. I'm gonna attempt to build this thing that's on the box. Done. So I don't know about a choking hazard, but I'm getting a little choked up at how good of a job I did. Look at that resemblance. This is a Furby and they were discontinued in 2002 because apparently they would catch on fire. This is really creepy. Now this toy is probably one of the creepiest ones, if I can get it open. This comes with a little dictionary, so we're gonna say some of these phrases and see if it works. Aye aye. Alo. Bobe. Do. So the phrases are not working, but it says that if you rub its back, it will turn on. This is really weird. I think it's safe to say that this thing just Oh my God! I guess it's banned for a reason. This definitely does catch on fire. And there goes its ear. I'm sure you guys have heard of Red Bull, but have you heard of Red Bull Cola? This was exclusive to Germany, but banned in 2009 because apparently it contains illegal substances. Wait, so should I be trying this? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, the expiration date on this is October 9th of 2009. So this is 14 years old and we're about to take a sip. Whoa. It smells like Coke that's been like poured into a basement and then like sat there for like 20 plus years. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the grossest thing I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, it's like spicy. I'm not kidding. My tongue is like tingling. Well, it's 14 years old. Oh my god. Hey, this is awful. Yeah, this should be banned for sure. These are soccer boppers. You probably think that they were banned for an obvious reason, but it was actually because the company got sued. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, Jeremy. What? Hey! Hey, give me one of these. Give me one of these. Okay, I can see why this freaking product was discontinued. We're not using these anymore. Thunderballs. These were discontinued in 2004 because of choking hazards. The chocolate ball that has candy inside the chocolate and it comes with a toy. The best of both worlds. You get an experience and you get the taste. Oh, and it's Super Mario Bro. Keep going, you're almost there. Ah! Collect 18 coins, one coin inside. Oh! How cute! Careful, Lexi, it's a choking hazard. Oh, yeah, oh, maybe that's the choking hazard, actually. Oh my god, it's falling apart. It's broken! Oh. Well, since this was discontinued in 2004, we're not gonna be trying the chocolate because that's just not safe, but I'm gonna try candy for you. Oh my god, it's disgusting. It's not good? No. What does it taste like? Oh my god. It's that bad? Yeah. Ugh. See, I wonder what it tasted like in its prime. Ugh. Not when it's like this old. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? Keep, Keep going. going. You're, You're almost, almost there. there. These are Elmo's Tickle Hands, and basically they came out in 2009, but were discontinued in 2010. Put these on, and you just tickle whoever you're next to. Wait, why are they discontinued? Well, probably because nobody likes to get tickled. Like, I hated it being tickled. Well, looks like we're putting on the Tickle Hands. Oh, up. no. All right, the ticklers are on. I'll give you five seconds to run. Go. Five. Stop. Four. Stop. Three. <laughs> two. One. <laughs> Oh, you're freaking slow, bro. I caught up to you so fast. Hey, what are you doing if you look on your bed and it's me with these Elmo hands? Like at 2 a.m. Jeremy, why do you have to make everything weird?